So the whole bot, the whole like basis of this thing here is that we have, see the red X's, we have a 3-2 defense. And where we want to line up, if we have a tin, this is called the tin series or the pyramid series. Tin series, we would have these two guys out here on play 10, okay? Play 11 means that we're going to pull them in right here. The purpose is, is that we want to pick this guy, and so I've got to have him in close, right? And I, I want to be able to go left or right, okay? So the point guard, okay, that's Matt, that's uh, uh, Simon, Jaden, okay? You guys are going to pick which direction we go, and I don't have, you know, do a, a sign, or if you don't want to call it, that's fine. Figure something out, okay, so that we can communicate to everybody. First step, we're going to go this way, I'll expect you to extrapolate, okay? So first step is, is this guy goes in, once you call it, this guy comes in and picks the center man, and we expect that when he picks that center man, that his defender is going to follow him. He may not follow right up, but I think he will. I think he'll be right on his tail, all right? So then we've got two players right here. What does that mean? I got a free player, right? Okay, so pick. Then we anticipate that as soon as he moves this way, this guy's going to back going to jump back out but if you're moving properly you only need one step on him and we've got we've got it okay so you get one step on this defender trying to get back into position and then this pick guy rolls out right here into the center this is what they think they don't have to worry about they think they've got this covered we're going to prove they don't right so then you come over here and off this pick you have to roll off of this pick and I've, actually i've got that wrong it should be this way okay so there we go, okay? So you roll off of that pick and you're looking for this guy who's coming this direction to pass it to you there. And as soon as this guy gets into this area, these guys are gonna collapse. They're gonna, they're gonna jump to this, jump, jump in this situation. If they don't, so what? Pass it to him, go for the basket. If these guys jump in, I now have two guys here that don't have anybody on them or they're a step behind. And that's all we need, one step. If you get one step on them, do a layup and make the shot, okay? So be under control. This is one of the things that you're gonna to have to work on. Um, you know, uh, 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 Eli and David and Nick are gonna be the guys down here. Um, you might be down here, okay? Elijah might be down here, because you guys are on the block, okay? If they pass the ball to you, okay? Get, your, get control of the ball, be in control. Hear what I'm saying, Connor? Be in control and just do a layup. That's all you gotta do. All right, you, you're going to get some help because Nate will be here and uh, and David will be here or uh, or uh, Nick will be here to rebound the ball. OK, so we can go back up and we just go back up. OK, so real quick recap. Point guard comes down, signals that we're going left. This guy turns in, picks this man, draws this guy with him. Then he can go with him. There will be a switch. This guy's going to go in and come back out. That's fine, go right here. You're looking for this pass. If this guy collapses down on the pass, then you now can, can pass to him, or he can take the pass as he, as he collapses, David's gonna come right behind him and he, he drives in this way. Same on this side, okay? Makes sense? Okay, so now, the whole purpose of us learning this for Tuesday is that this is one added play, Okay, but if we can get this to work, we actually get two plays out of it because I get 11 and 12, right? This is 11, that's 12, mm -hmm. okay? And so if we'll do this in this situation, this series then gives us a shot and this will work either against, specifically against the three, two, but it'll also work if this guy's back here, all right? Because instead, you know, when you come here, instead of jumping out here, you're gonna jump in here and pick this guy and the, the guard, uh, the, um, lead guy is gonna come in a little faster, come in a little longer. So you come in and jump here, make sure that when you're up here, Nate, you're gonna be that guy more than likely. Make sure you're counting down, three, two, one, get out, right? Okay, come down here like this, and you're looking to, you're looking to draw this guy, you come this direction and draw him away, and then Nate can either turn and walk around, give him the ball, or these two guys here are open. All right, so that's our deal. We won't have a chance to run this play real uh, uh, in in real time until after Tuesday's game, all right? But if you guys are thinking, I believe you have the ability to run this play because it's based on 10, and we already know how to run 10. You guys got that. The only difference is, is that from 10 to 11 is that these two outside guys come in here and sit right up here on the points. 
okay? And then you guys uh, on the uh, the point guards, you, Matt, and, and, uh, and Simon, you're right here. You've got to call which direction we're going, okay? And so that's how, that's how that works. In nature, just looking for one of those two guys. That's the biggest thing. So this is almost a, this is almost a five modified, right? Okay. It's almost a five modified, but we're not looking for you to get here, get here and throw the ball. We want you to get a little deeper because we want to get into that zone they think they have covered. Okay. It does two things for us. It gets us in better position and it, and it messes with them psychologically. Okay. So purpose of this on Tuesday's game is I want to be see if we can use this because I want to get and we can use the we can use the triangle because we think we're going to do a two one two right <clears throat> I want to get in here because I want ten points in the first couple of minutes that's what I'm looking for if we can get ten points guys we can we can control the game once we get ten points up on them whether they have you know two points or because that's what we did last yesterday we got yeah. ten points before they scored they scored two but that was it. And we controlled the game for the rest of the game. All right? So remember, when you, guys are, when you guys are thinking here, when you get up on Tuesday morning, that's when the game starts. It starts between your ears. Okay? Get up in the morning. This is what I got to do. This is my responsibility. You guys who are, who are kind of the secondary players, you guys are going to be the first players next year. So you've got to start thinking this way. All right? So you got to get it between your ears. I am going to do this. This is my responsibility. When the ball does this, I do that, right? Okay? And then we got to make sure that we just we just don't do turnovers, okay? We got to keep those turnovers down. It's critical, especially on a small court. And that's what we're going to play, okay? <clears throat> Questions. The reason we want you guys to hold the ball, let's say we got a minute 40 to go. The fourth quarter. It does two things for us. If they're in a zone, let's say they're in this 3-2 zone, 2-1 zone, whatever. The point guard is here. He needs to have a guy come here. All you guys can do is pass. What's gonna happen if we stay out here and do this, it's gonna draw them guys out to try to follow you. So you don't have to shoot the ball. Oh, Simon, Eli, uh, whoever, Simon, Jalen, you can have a sign to get a guy out here with you. Just pass, you're playing pass. Nothing wrong with that. The refs won't count because you're doing something. You're not standing. If you're standing, they're going to count. But if you're passing, this right here, easy passes, and that clock is running, these guys are going to They're going to have to come out. Two things are going to happen. Either they're going to follow you, or they come out, and then we can attack. That's why I tell you guys, if we're up, hang on to the ball. Don't shoot. Because we want the defense, to, we want them to react. Because they're going to have to, if they want to keep us out here, we'll stay out there the whole 40 minutes. I don't care. Because there's nothing wrong with that. But it ain't going to happen. Once we start doing this and that clock's running, I guarantee you, they're going to come out on you guys. They have to. If they're behind, there's no way for them not to come out. And then from there, those of you, you know, you've got the point guards out here and another point. These guys back here, we don't shoot the 12 foot shots anymore. The only shot we take is a layup. Yeah, that's it in that situation. Okay? Because if we, we bounce around and throw back and forth, good passes, okay, you gotta make good solid passes. They're gonna get desperate. They'll get desperate, which means they foul you. You're, you're gonna, you know, you can, you can, don't leave your feet, fake going up, get them off their feet. Then you can throw the ball and all kinds of stuff. So remember, like I was saying, the game starts in the morning, it's between your ears, okay? So when, when coach is saying, you know, hang on to the ball, is the reason why is because he's, he's trying to get us to use our heads rather than our athletic ability at that point, okay? You have plenty of athletic ability, but this is not just an athletic game. It's as much in your head as it is anywhere else. Yeah, I don't care who comes out here with you. It could be David, it could be Nate, it could be anybody. But two people come out here and just play pass. Do you want more than three, uh, two so that you could have like a triangle of sorts up there? You could do it. Yeah, yeah. just it's pass. like Wyndham last year. We had, we passed for two minutes. I remember that. And yeah. then we turned the ball over and yeah. they made a layup <laughs> and we were up by 15 yeah. points. Yeah. So they made a layup and then it was ours and we just kept bouncing yeah. it around. 
and we did two sets of two minutes. And yeah, knocked off a lot of time. That was like the best passing ever. That was like really good. But yeah, we can do a minute and a half. So they, started, they started fouling you at that point. They would just walk up and smack you on the arm yeah. to try to get a turn. Okay. So what did we do? We were shooting eighty percent. So we get up and add a couple more points. Yeah. You know. So that that's okay. That's all right. We don't have any problem with that. They come no. out and intentionally foul you as long as it's not egregious. You know, I mean, if they smack you in the face, we're gonna, we're gonna, well, you know, that you know, that's a different story. <laughs> but they just come out and they hack you on the, on the arm. Okay, yeah. but that, that's what it's all about. At this point in the season, that's how we have to start thinking. We've got to think uh, and and have this be a mental game. Up to this point in the season, we've just kind of been gelling and working and getting together. Okay, we're at that point now where we've got to go from gel. You know, we've got to gel together. But now we have to start applying the strategy that goes in. You guys are as much of the strategy. I involved with this as coach, okay? And then in that period, we were in the bonus. So if we got fouled out here, we're going here. Yeah, every time. We were in the bonus. So that's works to our advantage. Yeah, but it's also kind of productive. Okay, so are are there any questions on the 10 series stuff that I've done talking about? Call it the pyramid, we'll call it the, the pyramid, pyramid plays or 10 series, I don't care which, okay? So we've got right now, we have 10. We know that one, we've used it. The only modification is, is that you guys come in here and set these picks inside, okay? Right, you guys know how to do that. So that gives us 11 and 12. So now we have, based on 10, we have three more, we have three plays, all right? So all we have to do, we know how to pick. You just have to defensively pick. You're gonna pick, you're gonna pick here, and he's gonna move, and you guys have to be out here. In this situation, the reason why I want you here and not back here is because when this starts moving this direction, you got to get in his way. Whoever's sitting right there, you got to get in his way because we got to make sure that he doesn't come over and, and give them any help. We don't want him collapsing on our on our guy right here. So Nate, you're going to have two opportunities. You're going to have passing opportunities. And you're going to have layup opportunities. Man, I want you to get aggressive on breaking into the boards. Okay, you can do it. Your 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 right hand layup is Nate. You're dropping them on every time. So if you you'll do that, we'll get we'll get we've got three opportunities for points right there. Okay, yep. so don't don't just turn around and go. Uh, well, geez, I got to pass the ball. No, look. If you got an opportunity, then you can jump it. Is it possible that after we learn eleven and twelve and perfect them, which might take a while, we might learn some more plays? Yeah, I've actually got I've got I've got three more plays that we can double because they go both sides. All right that we can build right off of this situation. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep us so we don't have to learn a whole brand new offense. I'm just gonna modify it just a little bit. We know how to do it, okay? Nice thing about this is, is that this is one of the things that's important for the rest of the season. We do not have any three-point shooters, okay? I'm not saying don't take them, but I'm, you, better, you better hit them, okay? Um, we, can't, we can't have a situation because if we're shooting a three-point shot and all we're doing is throwing the ball away, that does not help us, okay? And so at, at, we're not gonna develop any plays for three-point shots because we don't have a three-point shooter. So that means that everything that we're gonna do is in the 12-point, 12 12-foot 12 range, okay? So inside the, the foul line, foul line's 15, where everything I'm doing is built around shooting the ball from 12 feet or less. Does that make sense? Yep. So it won't be a lot of threes. We might get a one or two here and there, and I don't, that, that's fine. But everything that we deal, all of our points yesterday, except for one, were two pointers, and we won. You don't need three pointers to win. You really don't. Okay, and our defense will, will destroy their three point ability. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, I got it. I got it. Drop it. Yeah. <laughs>